Because the Darts World Championship is hotting up and one man will be walking out to this song. In the last 16 is former BDO world champion, world number 18, Stephen Bunting. I'm delighted to say Stephen joins us now. Morning, Steve. Morning, Stephen. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? Steve, I've got to ask you, why, why that song? Uh, it was a favourite song for me, lad, and um, he really likes it. And obviously, he loves watching me play. So when the song comes on, everyone seems to sing it and get along well with it. And uh, yeah, it just stuck, really. Yeah. Steve, you're playing well at the minute. Um, is this the best year you've had since you started? Yeah, I would say so. Even um, the years when I felt unbeatable, when I was BDO world champion and stuff, um, I was number one on that side for, for two years. But I think consistently, level-wise um, and performance, I'm definitely the best I've ever been. Mm, yeah, you, you won yesterday 4-0 uh, to reach the last 16. Now you're going to face Michael Van Gerwen. Obviously, you know, a big, big, big game for you. You must be excited. Oh, yeah. If you can't get excited for a game like that, then you shouldn't be playing the sport. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. Obviously, it's a, it's a difficult game, but Michael will be the, the massive favourite. I'll go in as the underdog and I'll take all the pressure off myself. Steve, I, like you, obviously, you know him and you've played him loads of times. Like, I, and, and I don't need to give you tactics away, but do you have a plan or is it just you against the board? Um, the plan's already implemented in the back of my mind and um, what I want to do but I won't give too much away um, <laughs> I'll make sure that obviously I'm up early today so I'll make sure I do everything right have a rest in the afternoon and I'm not playing until about half eight tonight so yeah. I'll make sure that I'm 100% focused I've got some um, hypnotherapy lesson booked in in the next hour um, hold on what's that go on talk me through it. Yeah, yeah. So basically, I just um, he'll put me under for for maybe forty minutes, but it replicates four hours sleep, um, and it just refocuses the brain. Wow. Um, we do some visualization stuff, so things that I want to I want to see happen. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's it's been working for me. I've been seeing the hypnotist now for probably about twelve months, and yeah, it's it's really a big part of my game now. To be fair, I, yeah, I have to say, I mean, I used to do that when I played football, and it. it People don't realise visualisations and stuff. Is is actually you were massive. definitely hypnotised. <laughs> yeah, when I played midfield for you, when you were my gaffer. You're but no, no, no back. things like that you don't realise. You know, we see you go up there. You know, you look like you're having a laugh. You've, you're throwing the darts. Everyone's drinking, having a laugh. But actually, this is you know elite level darts championships that you're playing in, and there's a lot of preparation that goes behind it. Yeah, of course, and it's it's a cauldron as well. You're you're in a an environment with all the fans behind you. Um, and obviously, I expect Michael to have a bit of support as well, but I'd expect quite a lot of support myself tonight. Um, the, the crowd's been electric my first two games, and uh, I think that's a massive part of it as well. Obviously, it's a carnival atmosphere, and everyone's there in the fancy dress and stuff, but it, I think that's what makes Dart so special. You're up on that stage, and um, yeah, we are, we are the show. If we don't perform, then they still have a good time. So it's all about us trying to play our best game and making sure that they have a great day. Mm. I've got to ask you about this uh, this this young lad, um, Luke Littler. I mean, it's I think it's brilliant for darts, a 16-year-old going up against the world's best players, and we've got to talk about it. I mean, you've played him before. How good do you think he's going to be? He's a special talent. Um, obviously, 16, there's a, there's a lot of things he needs to learn. Um, but at the minute, he's... He's pretty uh, fresh. He's got no scars. And, um, yeah, as long as he keeps winning, he'll he'll keep feeling that way. I think the, the hard thing for him is when the losses start coming, mm -hmm. then you might see a different side of him. But um, mm -hmm. at the minute, he, he's a, fresh, uh, a breath of fresh air for the sport. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of focus on him, which may put a bit of pressure on him. But, like I say, um, he's, fan he's fantastic. He's literally around the corner from me as well in Warrington. His manager spoke to me the other week and wants me to practice with him. So I think we're going to set up some practice sessions oh, and nice. uh, see how that goes as hey, well. Hey, can I come? I, I live in Northwich, five minutes down the road. I'll come up yeah, and you like, you know, make a three ball. You can do the marking. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, you've also become a bit of a viral sensation on uh, TikTok after posting uh, videos of yourself. I mean, where's this come about? Yeah, so it's just been, it started off as a bit of fun with my son, um, just doing daft stuff. And then he keeps sending me templates and saying, you should do this, Dad, you should do this. And it's just kicked off. I mean, there's, there's a video there, nearly 900,000 views, I think. It's just, mm -hmm. I've got over 50,000 followers now on TikTok. 
And uh, in every interview I do, people mention it, so I must be doing something right. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, but it, it just shows a side of me that people don't see, the personality side. Yeah. Um, I'm a fun guy. I'm just a normal lad. And, um, yeah, I think that, that was the most important thing to try and get across when I do the TikTok. Apart from you two uh, who are playing, obviously, brilliant players, who else is playing that you think he's playing out of his skin at the minute? He's dangerous. Uh, I, apart from last night, I'd say Luke Humphries, obviously, he's won the last few events on TV. Um, I think he's well number three, but he's always going to be dangerous in this tournament. Obviously, Van Geren has... You said, don't mention us, but he's he's another one. But yeah, there's so many good players. Luke Little, as you mentioned, he, he's he's got no emotion. He's got no, um, there's no scars there. So he's dangerous in this event. And like, if he goes on to win this event, he's only going to rock it up to, to massive things. Mm. Um, look, during your career, you you must have heard a million different referees doing the, the famous 180. But me and Dean have uh, given it a go. We'd like you to rate us. Uh, Dino went first. Have a listen. One hundred and eighty. One hundred and eighty. <laughs> You've won that. Oh, that's a belter right there, isn't it? Oh. One hundred percent. Yeah. Come on, Dino. You need to do better. Come that, on. You've by the way, you're a good you, singer. That's why that's come out like what that. Mean you're a good singer. I think you've got to be a good singer. I just be... used to love it, the Ali Pali. I mean, it's a different one this this year, is it? Was it? What was the old guy's name that used to be up there? He was Fantastic! I loved him. Oh, we, oh come! What was it? You, you must know him. You must know. This him. one's a growler. He goes yeah. hundred and eighty. Oh, sprays the growler. Yeah, I, I mean, look, it, it, it's a great feeling that the old one eighty is flying out and it, the, the buzz. I mean, you don't realise how uh, for you to when you're knocking them out. Is that what's the ultimate thing? Is it the the, the nine data? Yeah, the nine data is the ultimate thing. But I mean, it's special for us with the with the one eighties this year. Um, the spon- tournament sponsors has donated, I think it's a thousand pounds per 180 to prostate cancer, which is massive. Mm. Um, I think we're already over the 500 um, 180s in the tournament so far. So that's half a million pound raised for prostate cancer, which is a special, mm. special um, charity. And um, yeah, we we feel like we're giving something back then when when yeah. things like that happen. And it's um, it's amazing to be that's honest. That's brilliant, but, isn't it? You yeah, know, I mean, not only have you got the 180 in the back of your mind, you must be thinking, "There's another grand." Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. Charity, exactly. Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Yeah.